Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Cognitive behavior therapy that focuses on changing thoughts rather than actions is more beneficial for depressed individuals, according to research published online, Head of Print and Behavior Research and Therapy. Here is some information about cognitive behavior therapy. It is a type of psychotherapy based on the idea that internal factors such as thoughts are responsible for depression rather than external factors such as family or work. It is usually designed to provide results within a short time, often within 10 to 15 sessions. It is usually carefully structured and goal-oriented. Researchers from Ohio State University reviewed recordings taken of the first four cognitive behavior sessions of 60 individuals being treated for moderate to severe depression. The investigators noted how frequently the therapist used strategies that focused on changing negative thought patterns or negative behaviors. After every session, the participants completed a questionnaire that assessed their level of depression. Depression scores improved significantly when the therapist focused on strategies designed to change negative thought patterns, but not when they used strategies designed to change negative behaviors. Another therapeutic technique found to be effective was developing a treatment plan in collaboration with the participant and sticking to that plan. Participants were also more likely to benefit from therapy if they were engaged and open to new suggestions from their therapist. We spoke with Daniel Strunk, one of the investigators of this study who offered some further insight. There's been uh, a lot of controversy about what treatments are really most appropriate for more severe depression. And um, a, a clinical trial that was published a few years ago by Rob Derubis and Steve Holland suggested that cognitive therapy did about as well. And so this is really a study looking at what are the features of cognitive therapy that explain how it does as well as it does. And it appears from our data that the therapists who are emphasizing uh, cognitive change, helping patients to be skeptical of their negative automatic thoughts and uh, unduly negative beliefs, that that kind of effort is really what appears to be a very robust predictor of symptom change. Um, and what's, uh, what's more is that, it's that, that that predictor, that focus on a cognitive intervention was a better predictor than other competing elements of the, the, the therapy. Today's research demonstrates which cognitive behavior therapy techniques appear to be most effective for treating depression. For Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.